Here we have a clip. The default simple border that comes with Final Cut is an effect. Searching for simple brings up both effects being compared, regardless of the categories they are located in. Simple border, when applied, adds a nice border around the edge. It can be set by the width parameter, colored with the color parameter, and there is a mix parameter for fading it out or on. There is no on-screen control for positioning. Resizing the clip requires going into the transform section. Scale all will reduce or enlarge the clip proportionately. However, scaling in the X or Y directions will distort the border. And, what happens when you want to crop an image? The border is cut out. Moving over to SC Border Simple. It starts out the same way. However, with SC Border Simple, cropping the clip size retains the border, you can crop the clip to any aspect you like. Scaling the clip reduces or expands the size of the clip within the border area. It is possible to scale X or Y without distorting the border width. There is an on-screen control for positioning the clip. SC Border Simple has parameters for an overlay color and opacity as well as a background color and opacity. With these you can build the effect to serve as a background for a title or to overlay one clip over the other with some transparency and tinting. There are also panning controls to recenter the clip within the border. This effect can be used as a magnifier but will require doubling the clip. Once you have this effect set up, you can save the setup as an effect preset which includes all the animation you created.